you please, ma'am. The post just come. Thank you, Hannah. A good girl, that. Very obliging. Two letters from Jane. At last. I've been wondering why we had... This one was misdirected at first. No wonder, for she wrote the direction very ill indeed. Would you be very angry if I beg you to postpone our outing? Not at all. Of course you want to read your letters. Your uncle and I will walk to the church and call back for you in an hour. Thank you. You're very kind. My dearest Lizzie, I hope your journey has been as delightful as you anticipated. We all miss you. Our father most of all, I believe. I confess I've hardly had time to write. My nephews and nieces have commandeered almost every moment. But they are such dear children. Our mother, indeed, finds their exuberance a little trying for her nerves. Mama. She spends much of the day above stairs in her room or with Mrs Phillips. Oh, dearest Lizzie... Since writing the above, something has occurred of a most unexpected and serious nature. But I am afraid of alarming you. Be assured we are all well. What I have to say relates to poor Lydia. Lydia? An express came at twelve last night, just as we were all gone to bed. Oh, Mr Bennett! What is it? Are we to be murdered in our beds? The letter was from Colonel Forster to inform us that Lydia was gone off to Scotland with one of his officers to earn the truth with Wickham. Oh, oh Lydia! Oh, Mr. Bernard, we are all ruined! <laughs> you will imagine our surprise and shock. To Kitty, however, it does not seem so wholly unexpected. <laughs> I'm very, very sorry. So imprudent a match on both sides. But I am willing to hope the best and that his character has been misunderstood. I wish I could believe it. His choice is disinterested, at least. He must know that our father can give him nothing. Yes, that is true. But how could he do this? She is silly enough for anything. Come love Lydia. Marry Lydia. There is one lady I should be very loath to part from. We expect them soon. Return from Gretna, man and wife. But I must conclude. I cannot be away from our poor mother long. I shall write again as soon as I have news. Dearest Lizzie, I hardly know what to write, but I have bad news. Imprudent as a marriage would be, we now fear worse. That it has not taken place. That Wickham never intended to marry Lydia at all. Great God, I knew it. I cannot think so ill of him. Oh, I can. Oh, poor Lydia. Poor, stupid girl. Colonel Forster said he feared that Wickham was not a man to be trusted. She was then but 15 years old. They were traced as far as Clapham, and to London our father has gone with Colonel Forster to try to discover them. But dearest Lizzie, I cannot help but beg you all to come here as soon as possible. Oh, yes. Where is my uncle? Could you please, ma'am? 